Hi, welcome back to Scrappy Happy Me. Today to show you another album. This is um, another Shella Geigel inspired album. I'm going to say inspired because it's not exactly following one of their tutorials step by step. Um, I have used this Scrappy 45 paper. I used all of this paper and I used all of the um, 6x6 paper, which I just use this for matting and stuff like that. So I did use all of that. I had some of the ephemera pieces, I had some of the chipboard pieces and the sticker set. So anyway, um, I started this album off using a white background, but I don't tend to like using white background. I like black, and I didn't think it would go with black, so I just tried it out and it did. So here is the album. Again, it is eight and a half by six and a half with a four, three and a half inch spine. This is um, a Prima frame, and it is another fold out one, but this is larger than the other one, so you can fit two photographs in here. And then this is one of the ephemera pieces, and it says if the crown fits. So I just put this into the frame and then glued it down. Some lace in the background here, a cluster of flowers here, this um, metal embellishment piece here. Put two of the flat back pearls in the centre of the frame, and another um, cluster of flowers. Some of this um, really pretty lace which has been dyed and I thought it matched the paper beautifully. Now, it is an example of it. And it is like, I don't, I don't know, it's like um, an ivory gold colour. So anyway, I used that and then I used some of this embroidered um, trim going down and then some flat back pearls on a trim. And then some of these flat back pearls in the centre just to give it an added effect. And then the spine, I wrapped again, and then I created this with some seam binding dyed pink, and then a metal piece, and then this lovely cluster here. And then here, you can see, behind all this, is a beautiful little perfume bottle glittery piece there. So that is an absolutely gorgeous effect to the spine. Absolutely love how that turned out. And the back is just again plain. I just need to add some of the fat back pearls down there to match the front. It's not as chunky as my other one. That is simply because I started to run out of the paper. You don't seem to get a lot. Um, you definitely get more in the first edition paper pads than you do in the Graphic 45. I seem to have noticed. So anyway, I'll just open it up and show you the inside. Now, I'm absolutely in love with this paper, um, absolutely gorgeous, I fell in love with it, I had to have it. Um, so, I didn't want to sell this, and I didn't want to keep it myself, because I'm I'm starting to get overrun with craft stuff. So, my grandma, who I live with, has always wanted a scrapbook to fill with family photos and write messages. So, I thought this would be perfect for her, so I've made it for my grandma. Um, this is one of the little pieces from the centrepiece, just cut it out, backed it up. A metal piece, not a metal piece, sorry, um, a wood chipboard piece, did a little bar and then one of these little flowers in the centre. And then some of this pretty lace here, and then some flat back pearls there. Um, and then this houses two tags. Now normally I would back these up on some black cardstock just to add added effects, but my grandma said she wanted to just use it for both sides of journaling, so... I left it plain, then a large photo map here, and then again you can put a photograph here. So I'm really happy how my um, scrapbook skills have branched out, I started um, doing a lot more. Oh, I forgot to mention, in this album and the other album, in Shelley she doesn't wrap the chipboard, but I like to wrap mine to give it extra sturdiness, and I seem to be able to do it really, really professionally, so I really like how that turned out. This is a flip out. A chipboard piece here, and um, put some lay, some um, ribbon on one of these flowers again, and that adds to the. Um, these are the punch out pieces, the ephemera pieces. Just packed them on some black cardstock, fussy cut around them, and then just added some little um, flat back bit bits and bobs there. Then they just slide right behind that. Then this is a little sticker. Then this is um, a pocket 
did some border punch. And this border punch here I've used a lot throughout all my albums because it is like an edgeable. And this is it. It's by Tonic Studios. It ran the sale and I think it ran the sale because it's a bit... It works for me because I know how to do it but I've got to, when I'm cutting something out, I've got to move it along that way and never go that way if you get what I mean. But it works for me perfect. So this is um, a large um, pocket. Did um, some lace here, some flatback pearls, etc. This is one of my favourite pieces of the paper. The ones with like the really bonny images. And then this is a femme piece and it says a woman can be overdressed but never over elegant. And that is Chanel. And you can write on that. And then this paper is gorgeous. And that just puts back in there. Ever so simple. And this is just a simple um, pocket page. This is a um, chipboard piece. Just put some breads in it. Don't move. I just thought it'd add um, a bit of fanciness. Some lace and some um, flatback pearls. And this houses two very large mats. Now this paper isn't from the collection. It's from a different collection. But it seems to work well. Now I love this image. Absolutely gorgeous imagery. That tucks back in there. Ever so simple like that. The next page. This is um, a folio flower. Just backed on some lace here. A sticker here. It says let them eat cake. Now I've not put any paper on this yet. And then this is a folio photograph on each side. And then a pocket here. And it's border punch with some fat back pearls and one of these ephemera pieces. And it says, let us be elegant or die. And that just folds down. And this is a belly band. Now Shelly Gargle does hers with just complete lace, but I didn't want to, I didn't feel comfortable with doing that right now. So I just did mine backed up on some border trim. This um border punch in the background and then back some of this lace. Oh. I don't know where that flat back pearls come from, but and then I've just done some layering of some flowers on this chipboard piece. So whatever you took behind this, you could write about it in this one. And that has two large photo mats in there. Slides ever so easy and they're definitely, definitely not gonna fall out. Made on really tight. To show you. Not gonna fall out. Right, the next page is just a simple pocket page here and a pocket page here. Done some lace and some flat back pearls and this board punch. Again here, some lace and then this lovely little metal piece. And then this pulls out a large photo mat. Then this is two large a large photo mat and a tag what says Ella Mode. This is this has to be one of my favourite pages in this. Now I got this idea on YouTube. And it's using these panels to create like a wardrobe and then these are the handles and behind them are some magnets. Then it opens up and then the first thing you see is the this beautiful, I can't, you can never cover this up with a photograph, it's too nice. Now that adds a tag and you could put more tags in there because it just clips and holds them in. Now that is a flip up and it is a belly band that I created. This is a sticker piece that I just backed up. And then these are two tags there. Now this one is a pocket page. Has two large two tags. Again, and then one of these pieces just backed on cardstock. You can do a little piece of journaling there. Then I used um, one of these wood, the chipboard pieces, just for like, just to shove something back there. And you can just use this as like a memorabilia. Shove some things in it and put it back. And then this page is a fold out, put a nice image here, and again here, some of this um, pretty lace again, some flat back pearls, and then two tags, this is the large one. Now this is, um, <coughs> excuse me, from um, the paper, not the ephemera pack, and on the back of it is just pattern paper, so I just backed this on some black cardstock so you can put a photograph in the back. Now this is one of my favourite pages throughout the album. This is a beautiful image, I absolutely love this image and it's a large tag. This um, folds down like that 
and folds up. So you can put a large photograph here. Folds up and it is a top pocket there. Board punch and then just a little tag there. Then at the bottom you can put a large photograph here. I can even put tags and bits and pieces in there and then fold it up and it will stay in once it's closed. Then at the bottom here is um, a little one of these again. Just houses these two little pieces and inside of this is just a little piece in this envelope. And they just slide ever so easily at the back of that. And they won't fall out. And that just closes back up ever so simply. Like that. And I absolutely love this paper. Every single colour of that paper is just really beautiful. And that slides back there. Now this page is two fold outs. This is um, a sticker that I just backed up as like a little pull tag. Then this is a um, beautiful paper. Folds out. Now Shelley Gargle uses this um, method as a tag where she does it on a tag like that and then you can shove more tags within a tag. But I thought I'd use that idea as like a pocket like to hold stuff in so it's magnetised and this is a sticker piece and one of those tags again. So I really like that idea, I thought it worked out really well. Sticker here that says beautiful, some other pretty paper. Now this is um, a pocket. Houses two tags. Um, a side pocket, two tags. And then this page is a lot. This is um, following Shelley Geigel's tutorial. This is um, a pocket, but it's a side pocket what slides out there. So this is very large um, photo mat and one of the ephemera pieces. And then again, you can show a lot a lot of stuff in there so just pop that back in there then again this is a wood chip piece i've just got that little ephemera piece in tucked into it but you can definitely slide a four by six photograph into that if you wanted and then i just decorated this up with um the border trim but i used it the different way instead of the border trim going up here i just cut it out and then layered it on top of this to add a really nice effect and again, this beautiful centre focal point of the paper I've just used here, just as like a focal point of this page. Now this is a large fold up, and then it houses just a tag, two tags. Use some pretty trim again in there. And this is another fold out, and then you can slide bits and pieces behind that if you wanted. And then that folds out. This is another one of the frames that matches the one at the front. Just put the sticker in. It says it's not easy being a princess. And you can put a large photograph there. And again, a photograph there. And then the last page. Um, again, this is one of my favourite pages. Um, just let me just grab this out. This is um, a pocket, a side pocket that I've done. Let's put some of the wood chip pieces and lace and whatnot. Again, this folds out that way. And I've used the same method here to hold a tag and then again here the same method to hold a tag and then this is a pocket belly bound lace bomb that I've done and it houses this little ticket tag this tag and then this tag this tag is near enough the same size as the paper so it's quite large they all fold back in there I did decide to do a belly band with the lace. I'm not quite happy with how it turned out. It's not as tight as I thought it would. So it's probably something I'll avoid doing again. But I really like how it, it holds tight in there once this is folded up. And then this is a um, fold out. Last page. Put a large photograph there. A photograph there. And then this is some of the other lace that I have what's dyed this colour. Sticker that I fussy cut and backed on some um, black paper. And then a border, border punch, and then it houses two large tags. So that is that album completed. I really did enjoy making this. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed watching it. And please subscribe, comment and like. Thank you all.